EA Sports. It's in the game. Fans, Trey Wingo back with you here at the EA Sports Tiburon Studios in Orlando, Florida, talking about the seventh and final playbook in the Madden NFL 13 Playbook Series, the Madden Ultimate Team, or MUT. And if we're talking MUT, who better than the best MUT of all, Ryan Forwerda, <laughs> producer of Madden Ultimate Team. And there have been a lot of changes in MUT this year. Yeah. Continuing with the theme, and let's get this right. Every pixel, every mode, every screen has been touched. MUT has a new user flow and hub layout. That sounds like foreign languages to me, so <laughs> you fill it in, big guy. Yeah, so basically this year what we've done, and, and for those of you who aren't familiar, Ultimate Team's a card game. That basically, uh, you build a, 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 your NFL team that you want to put on the field, basically buying card packs like when you were a kid. And as you, part of that, like you mentioned, is new user flow. And what that means is if you've never played before, the game is literally going to take you step by step in creating your team. It all starts with a team captain, which is new this year. You'll actually be able to get a team captain from your favorite team. So if you're a Bears fan, you get Julius Peppers, etc. You'll actually get that guy plus your uniform, so you automatically are going to feel like you're playing with your favorite team. You'll also get a starter pack, which will be just enough players to field your first team. It'll walk you all the way through through your first game and bring you back, which takes us to the new hub, which you guys can see back here. Basically, everything is all now laid out the way it should be. Uh, things are more efficient. You don't have to dig like five or six screens deep for those guys that have used it in the past. Um, the way I like to describe it is much used to look like a spreadsheet, and now it looks like a game mode, which is a good right. thing. It's much more entertaining for everybody to get in and out. Just makes it an easier flow experience for the game. Yeah, exactly right. I mean, you're going to know exactly what Ultimate Team is the second you get in. Um, for us, it's really important to emphasize that it's a card game, right? People want, people remember when they were kids opening up football cards and you know trying to think what the best team I could feel it is. Right. We want to really make sure people know that the second they start playing. So you get gum with this when they're not open? <laughs> stale gum. Virtual gum. Virtual is, stale is, gum. Is the next thing we're working on. Crack in your mouth. Exactly. And, and there is a new help system taking them through this entire process. Yeah, absolutely. So we actually now, again, part of that guided process in and helping you understand and want to play the mode. Um, there's a new help system that will overlay everything. If you're ever in any place and you don't exactly know what you're supposed to do, you can press a button, brings it up, and tells you exactly what everything's supposed to be. So you're no longer kind of feeling like you're on an island like you were in years past. Much more user friendly. Yes, much more user friendly. Spent right. a lot of effort doing that, tracking people's eye, mo uh, eye motion and all kinds of stuff to make sure everything we have is in the right place. Now that's interesting. Eye motion would, would tell you what as you're going through the process? So basically for usability testing, right, if somebody holds a controller, you look where they look. So if they look up to the left and they're trying to find something, we actually can track that now with tech and study it and figure out where things are supposed to be. Listen, this technology is amazing. <laughs> it's fantastic. Pretty cool stuff. Uh, now, some users have complained, you know, a little bit, that their reserves weren't large enough yep. last year in this. How has that changed? Well, actually, uh, what I consider to be one of the most fun things of Ultimate Team, getting new cards, opening packs, you were limited by last year. Right. You could only have 100. This year, we've upped the amount to 1,000. So, so that's 10 times yeah, more 10X. for those non-math majors out there. So you'll have uh, 100 active cards, which that doesn't change from last year, but that's just like a real football team, right? You have your 55 players that are active, plus your other type of cards, coaches, playbooks, et cetera, and your active deck. Then you have up to 900 reserves. And what this means is that gamers can now, if you want to feel different types of teams, you can do that. So let's say I, I want to have a power running team or a spread team. I can now amass enough cards and keep my collection big enough that I can field all the different types of teams that I want. So it, it sounds very similar to what we've been talking about before. It's all about uh, more uh, user viability and, and variety and a different way to attack the game. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, in this case, if I'm playing a guy that I know he's got a stack run D, I might just decide to go, you know, wide out and just go spread offense, and then I can actually field that team now. Whereas in years past, you were always dealing with the same amount of guys. So you had to kind of make do. Right. Now you don't have to make do. Now you can have basically as many guys as you can fit into a thousand card limit, which is significant. And one of those things uh, we saw in Connected Careers is that you could play as a legend. Does that carry over here? Yeah, actually, there's all new tie-ins. Um, the best way, again, not to use the same metaphor, but being on an island is Ultimate Team in years past has kind of been on an island. It's just been a mode that sort of lived over here and didn't talk to anything else. Now, in uh, using Connected Careers, you can actually get, if you unlock certain legends in, uh, excuse me, in Ultimate Team, you can then unlock them to play in Connected Career. So it's kind of this like symbiotic relationship between everybody. Tell me about the new uh, CPU scenarios that you've got lined up for this year. Yeah, so this year we're actually going to be adding a brand new feature, an all new way to play Ultimate Team, and that is our CPU scenarios. Um, essentially what you're going to be able to do is the, the MUT team is going to be able to push out content live throughout the entire season and after the season with real world situations, hypothetical situations. Um, let's say we put a team of the best fantasy performers of the week on the field. 
your job is to actually take your ultimate team and go out and play against this in these variety of scenarios. Um, it doesn't, it won't be your standard stuff. It won't be just, you know, go play the Kansas City Chiefs from week seven. It could be, these are the, you know, eight best fantasy players of the week with the best offensive line, et cetera. Go beat them and your reward will obviously, you know, tinge on how well you did versus that. It'll all be scored. It's brand new, all new way to play. As a guy who has been delving in this for a long time now, what excites you most about the new Madden Ultimate Team and the way this thing is sort of progressing? Um, I think the most exciting thing for me personally is one, we're gonna get people in immediately understanding you know, how awesome the mode is, what they wanna do, but the biggest thing for me is that the team has a brand new commitment to providing content 365 days a year. So we have a brand new team staffed up, all new content. We're gonna be pushing, in fact, uh, just at the, during the NFL draft this year, we did a brand new live draft event where we're actually pushing out rookies as they were drafted immediately. Three minutes within drafting, they were in our game. Wow. And so we really wanna follow that commitment all the way through. We bring in a whole new staff te staffed up team. It's got, well, you know, in the years past, it's been, you know, just a feature in the game. This year it's a brand new thing, all new renewed focus. I think we have almost 20 people working on the mode. It's yeah. gonna get really big. How important is that, like, like you talked about, as soon as the draft was there, three minutes later, you had to yeah. draft them the game, is to keep up that real time sort of feel to everything that goes into this. Yeah, it, it's huge. To me, I kind of call it energy, right? right. Like we want to have energy in the mode and it's all about kind of pushing things out to people and letting them know that, hey, you know, we are here with you guys. We're huge fans. We're watching the draft with you live. And we think it's awesome that you can play with Andrew Luck three minutes after he gets drafted and he's in Madden pretty cool and it's really updated and for more on Madden Ultimate Team or any of the seven playbooks in the playbook series uh, you can check out the website easports.com slash Madden dash NFL so it's a slash then a dash and it'll be all on the screen right here